The DARPA Urban Challenge promises to be a stage for innovation in the areas of robotics, perception, and planning. MIT has assembled a team of top researchers in these fields and is determined to win the grand challenge. With that in mind, MIT has chosen the Land Rover LR3 because of its unique on- and off-road capabilities. The vehicle will rely upon a layered sensor architecture that will incorporate a coupled GPS INS system, a series of redundant LiDAR scanners for short to medium range sensing, and several telephoto and wide field cameras that will be used for object detection in the near and far field. While capable hardware is necessary, the unique nature of the upcoming challenge places the greatest responsibility on software, and winning will require a revolution in the approach to the problems ranging from perception to planning. Whether you are in Baghdad or Boston, uncertainty is implicit in all aspects of urban driving. The driver must constantly be aware of a pedestrian darting out onto the street or the car ahead suddenly braking, as well as replan routes on the fly to deal with unexpected road construction. Uncertainty will similarly extend to all aspects of the DARPA Grand Challenge. MIT will take advantage of its unique research in statistical state estimation and mapping, planning under uncertainty, and statistical perception in developing a software architecture that addresses uncertainty at all levels of the perception, planning, and control tasks. At the high level, our architecture will include a mission planner that manages the global plan, a situational planner that is designed to rapidly handle the uncertainty of the environment, and a perceptual state estimator that extracts salient information from the scene. A map fragment database maintains a history of the relevant scene structure and allows the technical planner to be more aggressive when revisiting areas. This simulation shows a motion planning technique applied to a sample RNDF. Under nominal conditions, the planner chooses the shortest path to the goal, but is able to replan on the fly when an obstruction arises. In the multi-vehicle case, our algorithms predict the motion of other agents and replan short horizon trajectories in order to avoid conflicting paths. The path planning relies on a condensed description of the environment provided by the sensors. Similarly, our current vision research is capable of real-time 3D tracking of features and shapes, which then provides rich and salient information about the environment. With video, we identify long-range movement with particles that capture motion that is spatially dense and temporally long-range. The obstacles can then be tracked using robust and optimized vision methods that take into account the structure of the scene. In this mock-up, the system separates the road shown in blue from the obstacles shown in red and extracts in the far field a sign which in turn impacts the driving behavior. Additionally, the mapping component of the system will draw upon our current research in localization and mapping, which has been demonstrated in large, complex environments. MIT, in conjunction with Olin College, currently has the skills in hardware development and construction necessary to implement these unique algorithms. Work by team members previously at the iRobot Corporation demonstrates the ability to deploy autonomous vehicles that operate in rugged, outdoor terrain. Common both to on-road and urban driving, puddles are one challenging feature as they are not easily detected by standard laser rangefinder technology. Driving in an urban environment will require highly precise navigation at the local scale. Using the NAVCOM system, we can accurately control the vehicle based upon an IMU and, by directly incorporating occasional GPS data, can achieve centimeter precision. Here, the system uses the vehicle's own motion to recover three-dimensional information from the planar laser range data of the vehicle. Some vehicle poses can cause the ground plane to appear as an obstacle to the system. Here we show that the vehicle slows down in order to ensure that the perceived obstacle during the downward pitch is in fact the ground plane, before continuing at high speed. Part of the DARPA challenge requires the ability to park between stationary unmodeled vehicles. Here we see a vehicle demonstrating a similar ability by autonomously pulling into an orchard lane using a fusion of GPS, LiDAR, wheel odometry, and vision. GPS is used to identify the approximate location of the lane opening, after which local sensors take over for navigation. Another critical capability required for the DARPA challenge is sensing and tracking of other moving vehicles. Here we see the ATV tracking the moving vehicles ahead of it using only a single laser range finder and a color camera. MIT has a long-standing history of building autonomous platforms for a wide range of environments that have successfully helped to pave the way for the maturing field of robotics. We are looking forward to applying our technical experience to the 2006 DARPA Urban Challenge.